Hi, it's John here. It's the 29th of May, 2013. And what do you get in the Dorset Verge? Well, here we have Red Campion. Can be muddled up with Ragged Robin. But you see the leaves, uh, the petals, are sort of heart-shaped. Whereas Ragged Robin is more ragged. Cow parsley, which some people grow in their gardens. People like Monty Don from Gardener's World, he likes a bit of cow parsley in his in his uh, jewel garden. And uh, quite nice. Give a nice backdrop. Hogweed. We used to make pea shoots out of this. I don't know um, if it's the giant hogweed or anything. I don't know whether it's poisonous. I think it is poisonous actually, so be careful of this. We used to make pea shoots out of it as kids, well try to anyway. Buttercup and nettles. Um, not a gardener's friend. I'll just pan up. See this stag-headed oak? They're rather special, aren't they? the grey sky. It's threatening rain today. There's a little white flower down there. It's a bit like a wooden enemy but it's not. That one's got me slightly stumped. Um, I don't know what that could be. It's got the seed head so it's like a little bell shape. That's quite interesting. So look it up. One thing you do get a lot of in Dorset is ferns and those um, other, other ones down the bottom there, a bit like a mother-in-law's tongue. And there's um, uh, woody willow herb all coming up, that's not in flower yet. There's a bit, a better example of red campion, and even the grasses are coming up to seed. Red campion with buttercups. is meadow sweet. Not in flower yet but it's got some buds on it and that is fantastic. I know that this all comes out of your flower in the hedgerows and the verges. I've just come down the road a bit on the verge and this is like a woodland bit and we've got yellow dead nettles. They're fantastic. And behind it is that ferny thing that you get in, in the hedgerows in Dorset. And uh, there we have the red campion again. And another plant here is this one. Now my sister-in-law told me what this is. And it's called Herb Robert. Don't know what you can use the herb for. Get this little pink flower. Looks nice in the verge. It's not much on its own, but it's nice in the verge. I'll just taste it, see what it tastes like. really tastes like wooden, doesn't it? I think it's coming. Wild garlic. Get lot tons of that around. Especially in the woodland, beside the roads in the woodland in Dorset. Really nice smell. This is comfrey, and that's a pink one. And there's another one here, which is a white one. Very good. Making the comfrey tea liquid manure, and also apparently good for bees. And there's also uh, a sort of different sort of hogweed. I'm not very good on these hogweeds. Well, that looks like a bit of a giant hogweed, doesn't it? Now I wasn't sure what this was when I came past it a few days ago. Oh, I wonder what that thing with the big rhubarb leaves is. But now I remember it's burdock. So that is fantastic burdock there, isn't it? So if we want to sneak down and dig up some roots to get some burdock, to make dandelion and burdock fizz, that'll be the place. But I, do, I don't actually like burdock. It tastes too medicinal to me. But tastes do change. Here's some more of that little white flower, which I don't know what it is. Now maybe somebody can help me out and tell me what that is. It's um, got these little heart-shaped petals and 
a yellow centre. I've just noticed a little, another little blue flower down here. I think that's called a um, bird size, something like that. Uh, something like that. A little, little, little flower. You get a lot of weeds like that to compost. And there's this one which is um, Jack by the Hedge or Hedge Mustard. And the orange tip butterflies lay their eggs on, on this. They lay their eggs on the um, on the seed pods. So if you've got it in your garden, don't cut it down because the uh, the butterflies like it. If you like those orange tip butterflies, the female has orange tips and the male has a black tip at the end of the wing. So don't confuse them with cabbage voids. glorious burdock. Let's hope the mowers don't come along and mow that down. I can't remember what these are. They're not foxgloves. But uh, when they come out flower I'll know what they are. I'll keep my eye on this little spot. And if anybody knows what they are, they're like a big dead nettle but like a foxglove as well. And I can almost picture the flower. I think it's probably purple but I'm not sure. Now at the moment we're in Hillings Lane and this is a big swathe of um, Rose Bay Willow Herb uh, which thankfully this time hasn't been mown down. It's a fantastic purple flower later on in the summer and fantastic smell and also you sometimes find the caterpillars of the elephant hawk moth on it. 